that's an A dominant seventh chord. So what I'm trying to do is hit the root, an A note, with my ring finger, seventh fret, fourth string. I hope you can see that okay. Okay, cool. Root. So if somebody says, hey man, we're in the key of A, well you better be able to find an A note. Otherwise, go back to square one. Okay, A note. That's a call root. This is called third. It's a major third. It's a C sharp. That's important. That's your middle finger on the third string, sixth fret. It's part of an A chord. This is a fifth, which is an E note on the second string, fifth fret with your index finger. It's three notes. It's a root, third, fifth, part of a chord. And it is a major chord. If you're spelling out a chord or outlining a chord with your lead guitar part. Then another root on the top, skinny string, fifth fret. That's an A, another A. So we got A, C sharp. E, A, and pinky, it's this G, which is 8th fret, 2nd string, and that's called a dominant 7th or a flatted 7th. So what we've, now we're outlining an A7 chord, like this, or that, or this, or this. So we got... Pretty cool. Second string, fifth fret is your next note. Then we've got this kind of a scoop sound, which is a C to a C sharp. It's minor, just for a second, that's okay. But we end up on major. We just sort of slur from minor to major. It sounds really bluesy. I kind of like to slide into this A. This feels good. But as we all know, nothing stays the same. And when the band changes chords, you have to change too, Mr. Lead Guitar Man. You can't just stay on that A. And you can't just go free form sometimes, but not always. Now, when the band goes up to D, like that, you have to change too. So you're going to go... Same lick, bass at 10th fret, because you know your root on the 4th string is 12th fret, a D note. You're just outlining a D7 chord. Back to A. This isn't the solo. It's more of the exercise you need to do when you're practicing, practicing changing chords. The thing that I try to avoid is just like learning one scale, then turning somebody loose. Um, that's not good enough. Sorry. So this is what I hear from some dudes that say they're practicing their blues or. Gotta make sense. <laughs> uh, put it into some sort of a phrase, like. Plus, it, it accentuates certain beats. Feel that, like. Uh. Now my licks are gonna kind of make the same accents, like.
got to feel that beat. That's the number one thing. If I tell somebody to strum, they're just going to go. Like, what? No, it's got to have like a long one. Two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Some sort of a, of a beat that makes sense. You, the strum pattern is going to relate to the drums and the vocals, and it's the rhythm. That's why they call it rhythm guitar. It's not just like free form. Uh, it's it's got to be fairly focused. That's pretty darn important. All right. Let me just hang on a sec. I'm gonna switch to another guitar. Show you a little rhythm stuff. Let me tape a lot. I think this is down a half step. So. Let's just do some strumming on A, A7. So it's got a little bit of a weight, like one, two, three, four. So the down, that's your strong beat, a little weaker. And plus it's got a little swing to it. So it's so I'm just muting my strings. Play along <laughs> if you want. Now D seven. Seven. D seven. So your soloing has to have a good rhythm and good notes. All right, one more time. This is the exercise. Just listen. We'll play along. Last lick, I'm circling the the third. I'm gonna go. This is a call of a fourth interval. It's a D on the fifteenth fret second string. Bend that up. Let it down. Now I'll go to my minor third, which is the C note, thirteenth fret second string. So I got bend that up a little bit. That minor third to a major third. And then here root. So it's nice lick, huh? This goes like kind of a full step, like a half step on the next one. Kind of BB King style. more of the free formy thing, you know. If you can find like three notes that sound cool. One, two, three. You should be able to hang out on three notes. If you can't make three notes sound good, playing a, a full scale up and down the neck is not going to help you. You got to make three notes sound like a voice. Tell a story, three notes.
Usually guys like, oh, okay, I'm ready. No, that's just a scale. It doesn't sound like anything. You gotta make it sound cool. three notes. Right. I think I already said that. <laughs> All right. Now, if you can make three notes sound good, you can add another one. It's a G. G A. Sounds really cool. Should be able to mix it all up. There's your rhythm down here. Right. There you go. Slow down. Listen. <laughs>